All right, guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to the garage, and welcome to my Tesla Model Y wheel collection. You see here I've got all these wheels. I'm going to tell you about these wheels in this video here. This is my 2022 Tesla Model Y. It came with the 20-inch induction wheels. I want to tell you why I would probably not order these from Tesla, but I would order them after the fact, and let me tell you why. So this is a 2022 Model Y Long Range, the 20-inch wheels. The tire size that come on these is a 255-40-R20. And the rim size, is it's 9.5 inch wide, rim, 20 inch in diameter. This is a $2,000 option from Tesla. So when you order this, you get the 20 inch wheels. There's no spare tire available. Uh, it comes standard with the 19 inch wheels that have like the hubcaps or wheel, wheel covers on there. And I don't think it's worth probably paying $2,000 for these wheels. What I would do though, is I would get the Tesla 19 inch wheels. And then I would find some takeoffs or some aftermarket or even some factory Tesla wheels like I have and get those for your 20 inch wheels. But you can find the 20 inch wheels takeoffs. For example, I have seven of these uh, induction 20 inch wheels here. These four over here, I just picked these up yesterday. These are, uh, these are like in perfect shape. There's no, no curb rash, no scratches, no dings, no dents. Absolutely perfect shape. I got all four of those wheels for 500 bucks from a guy locally in my area. So I got those. I'm going to find tires. I'm probably going to find tires probably not $500. So for $1,000, I'm going to have a second set of wheels and tires, whereas the factory set cost me $2,000. So for $1,000, I can get, I'll have, to, I can have two sets of tires had I bought the had I just gotten the 19 inch stock wheels and then could have added on a secondary set after the fact. Now the stock tires that come on these, uh, they're the Goodyear Eagle F1. And you can see our size here, 255, 40, 20. These tires actually wear out uh, pretty quickly. I have about 14,000 miles on this car and these tires. And they're getting close to being worn out. Probably only four or five, 30 seconds of tread up front here. Uh, just about the same or even a little bit less in the rear. The, the, the rears wear out a lot quicker than the fronts. So these are the four that I just picked up. These are perfect shape. They came with the center caps and everything. So I can just, I can just get tires and mount, mount those. The, these two here in the middle, I, picked, I found these on eBay. And if you can see, there's some curb damage on this one. And there's a little bit on this one here that looked like it was tried to get, it was tried to like just paint over. It doesn't look very good. Uh, especially like right here, it's kind of curved up there. This one I also found on eBay and it had a little, little damage. And this one I got powder coated satin black. So that way it's in perfect shape. It's better to find, if you can find the wheels in good shape, like I did these, it'll save you the cost of having to get them refinished or repowder coated. So if you can find a, a takeoff set like this, someone that's taken them off their car uh, in good shape, that's, a, it, that, that's probably a pretty good deal. Over the last couple of weeks, I've kind of gone crazy on buying Tesla wheels because uh, I keep finding these and it popped up. This set of four that I got, that was probably the best deal that I found because they don't need to be refinished. $500 for these wheels, even if rough in roughed up shape is a pretty good deal because you'd have to pay to you know, get them refinished. But $400, $500 and being, being in really good shape is a great deal. So my recommendations, if you're buying a Tesla Model Y, it's the long range or this new standard or rear wheel drive version that's available. Don't pay the extra $2,000 for the wheels because, the, because for no additional money, you get a standard set of 19 inch wheels that you can use as, you know, kind of your daily driving tires. When those wear out, you can put winter tires. And then, you, and then while you're looking for a secondary set, you can find these, these, uh, these wheels like I have, uh, a 20 inch or the 19 inch wheels. You can find the, the 19 inch wheels a lot more affordably and there's a lot more abundant. You can find that, you can put a set of winter tires on that and it's cheaper than buying, having to buy 2,000 for the, the induction wheels and then having to pay another thousand, uh, $1,500 for a second set. So essentially you're paying double if you buy these wheels from Tesla to when you configure a car. So I'd say get the 19s and then if you want these, you can, you can get these after the, after the fact. So guys, stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna be doing some updated videos. I've got a set of winter tires. I'm gonna put on these four. And then I might keep this one as a spare and then maybe get rid of these two because I really don't need this many wheels and tires or these, this many wheels uh, hanging around my garage. Really, if I have just a secondary set, if I've got a, you know, like a summer set and a winter set, that'd be perfect. 
and uh, I probably don't even need these three, but stay tuned in the garage. We're going to be picking out tires. We're going to go through tire selection. We're going to go through some installation and then some winter tires. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more updates on these wheels and tires. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.